Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can search a column into an entire database. Sometimes you have a really large database, you have like hundreds of tables, thousands of tables in a database and each table also have hundreds of columns, uh, so it's uh, 10,000, 100,000 of columns and you want to search one, of, uh, one column through this one term, through these columns, how you can search through it. Um, the method that I'm explaining to you today is using Power Query function called table.columnNames and this method will work regardless of the type of data source that you use. Any types of data source can use this method. So let's check out how this works. Uh, first, you need to have a Power BI desktop. Uh, you can connect to a database. In this case, I'm connecting to my own SQL Server instance. If you want to follow this example, you need AdventureWorks example. Uh, database sample of Microsoft but if you don't have it you can uh, choose any data sources I select a table from this data source I click on edit this table is now loaded into into Power Query uh, when you load a table then you can see that there is a there is a couple of steps beside it let me enable my zooming tool uh, there is a couple of steps beside it. So one step is the navigation, which shows you that you navigated through this table. Click on remove the navigation. This will uh, go back to the step that we had all databases. Then uh, click on the table on the database that you want. Like for example, Adventure Works. I want to check this database. So I click on the table to navigate the real to into that database. And from that database, I will see all tables under that. Uh, usually it takes a little bit of time, uh, but you will see all tables, list of all tables, their names, and this part, which is the table itself, um, which will show you the columns and the data of that table. Now we do not want to navigate through each table to see what happens. What we want is to get list of columns from each table. So uh, here is where actually the table.column names can be really helpful. I can basically go to add column section and I can add a custom column. In the custom column, I need to just use this function called table.column names. Every time you are writing an expression in Power Query, make sure that you are right, you are uh, continuing the right case sensitivity because Power Query expressions are case sensitive. So table.column names, you should pass this table as the input. The table is coming from data, ta data column. So I select that and then close bracket. I would call this as column table.column names and that's it. When you click on OK, you will have a new column which includes a list. Now what this list is, this list is list of columns in that table. Like here, for example, I click on the list for dim account on the blank area obviously because I don't want to drill down and these are column names under dim account. So for every single one of these, we have list of column names under that table. All you need to do now is to expand it. Just click on this, uh, expand and expand it to new rows. Now you can expand it and uh, this will give you the list of all tables and their columns. I just convert this to text data type. So here, for example, you can see these are these columns are all coming from DIM account. If, or if I scroll a little bit down, these columns are coming from DIM currency, DIM customer. For every table, I have a list of all columns. So with using table.column names function, you basically selected all uh, column names and have it expanded in one column. Now, what is the usage of this? The good usage of this is that you can search through these columns. If you just click on uh, this column header, you can search by just basic search here. But remember, if you have too many columns, more than 1000 values, uh, this will not show you the list of all items. The best way to search is always, I recommend using text filters. Here you can do the search and you can choose uh, equals, begin with, contains, things like that. I can easily say something like uh, contains here. And I can search for account, let's say. 
So these are uh, accounts, uh, that, the columns or columns that have account as part of their text and the tables that have these. So basically you can easily explore where the data is stored, where actually you have that column and where you have that table. Then you can um, navigate to that table, that column to see what the data is. It's a great point of data exploration for you. Uh, one very important tip when you do this uh, type of transformation is that because Power Query is case sensitive, anything that you search for is basically uh, case sensitive. So account with capital case A is different with account with lowercase a. If I search for account with lowercase a, probably I don't find anything uh, because um, Sorry, let me do that filtering again. Because if I do that searching, uh, the the issue that happens is that there is no account with lowercase a, right? Um, don't worry about that uh, that error that I'm getting. This is because in this data source I have functions and tables. The best would have been I go to the navigation and select only those that are either table or uh, or views. That would have been much better uh, before doing this. So I'll go a few steps back to do this filtering before doing anything. I don't want the function, just view and table. Okay, now uh, how we can uh, make sure that this will search through the right uh, value even if it is case sensitive. Uh, one option is to change all of these to be lowercase and then search lowercase into that or change all of these to uppercase and then search uppercase. So let's change all of these to lowercase. Uh, you can basically select the column, go to transform tab, from transform tab, format, lowercase. Column selection, transform tab, format, lowercase. This will change all of these to lowercase and now you can easily search into this and even if you put lowercase account here, you still get the search result. So you have a method that you can search through uh, all columns in a data source. This method will work regardless of the type of data source that you have. It can work with SQL Server, with Excel files when you have too many spreadsheets, every spreadsheet, how many columns you've got in that into that when you use OData uh, to connect to Microsoft Dynamics or Microsoft CRM online, you can use this approach. This approach can be used anywhere and it helps you to explore the data to find out where the column exists. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Reza Rad from Radicad. I will be posting more Power BI uh, videos uh, in this channel. Go and subscribe the button or check out our website for the detailed step-by-step uh, guide of doing this example. Thank you.